What's up guys, welcome back, we've got another image sent in and as always I'll be putting his links down in the description so you guys can go give him a follow down there and can also come and check out his portfolio over here. So you guys can come over here and also check out a bit more of his work and then he's also got a blog that you guys should check out. Coming back to his Instagram, if we look at his style you can see some really nice tones there's a good amount of flatness and fade to the shadows and we are going to be working with this one right here trying to recreate its exact edit so he has been kind enough to send this image into us and we're going to try to recreate its edit so let's get into Lightroom see if we can create something like this here we have our raw unedited image so as you can see we're looking a little blue let's increase the warmth to about there and let's work on getting a bit more contrast a bit more brightness a bit more of a pop to the image so what i'm going to do is actually drop the contrast because i'm going to do a lot in the curves so i'll drop it to about there up the blacks so now it's looking very flat and then I'll be able to do a lot in the curves and I won't get too much contrast so I'll do the curves now Okay, so that's the curves done and I just bumped up the shadows there. So as you can see, we've just got a really simple S curve going on. And the red, green and blue channel. And then, so if I just reset that, you can see the curves in the red, green and blue channel, they're adding pop to the colors and the contrast of the colors. So they're very important. And then this one is just to get a fade in the blacks and shadows. So, okay, so moving on, we're going to go on to a few more touches up here. So I'm going to bring up the whites, bit of pop. Drop the highlight. So I'll bring the highlights up a bit. Okay. Um, let's go down to split toning. And so you might think her she needs to be a lot brighter, but I'm going to come in with a lot of filters and curves and brighten a few areas later. So split toning. We got pretty close to the right tones, but we just want to add in a little bit of warmth to the shadows. So, put a few reds in there, and then balance that out with a nice blue, cool tones to the highlights. Okay, right, just quickly mess with some here, so I'm going to drop the yellows a bit, just some real obvious colours need to be changed, um, drop saturation of the reds a little. And then the luminance of the yellows I'll just bring up a bit. You can see that's affecting the mountaintop there and this line. Okay, so let's go do some filters now. So you can see we're darkening the front of the image here. And then what that's going to do is just help 
bring your eye up into the subject. As you can see, all these leading lines are coming right to a head, the horizon as well. So just funneling our eye upward to the subject, darkening the front of this image here. So if we come in with a filter, and I've already placed all the filters and brushes and all that, so all we have to do is I just click off that so you can see what's happening. If we drop the shadows, and then to keep it kind of soft, if we it can maybe look a little too harsh if we just drop the shadows, so I'm going to drop the shadows and the highlights. Cool, and that's looking okay. And then, so we want the center of the image to be a bit brighter. You can see like further upward on the road, it gets a bit brighter. That's the center of the image. That's where, right where our subject is. So a filter right in the middle here with just a little bit of extra exposure. Okay, just a little bit for now, probably brighten it up some other ways as well. So uh, over this side, I think in his image, it's a bit brighter over on this right side. And I think that's kind of because uh, the subject's looking this way and we sort of want the light to be sort of hitting your face from this direction. So just a bit of extra exposure coming in from this angle. And let's do another filter. So let's grab right here. So this one is affecting the subject. And what I want to do is just increase the clarity of just a little and sharpness just a little. Make our subject pop a bit. And then what also helps make your subject pop is taking away sharpness from the rest of the image. So if we grab this filter, if I just show you where it's affecting, it's affecting the outside of it. And then for this one, we want to drop the clarity and you can see what that's doing. Makes the outside nice and soft and then in effect makes your subject pop a little more. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. There's very much natural tones in this image. You can see we don't have to do too much with the hues. But if we come up, we surround a bit oranges. You can see her skin tone looks a little red. The oranges can go a bit more towards the yellows. Yellows maybe just a touch towards. And then also trying to match it up with the, that yellow down there. Greens. They're pretty true green, maybe a touch on the warm side. Pretty much leave them there. I think we got a little bit too much purple in the sky. I might try moving the aquas to a bit more of a teal for the sky there. And then coming down, saturation. I think we look about right. Take down the blues. Probably got a little bit too much blue back there. Luminance, reds. Affecting your skin tones, maybe just make your skin pop a little. And then bringing down luminance of the oranges sort of gives a deepness sometimes. I quite often do that. I'm not sure if I should for this image, but I'll go with that. Alright, uh, 
So sharpening. Let's come down to sharpening. Slide it up to about 50. But I'm going to do a lot of masking for this. So if you hold Option and slide the masking, you can see exactly where you're sharpening. So Option, grab this. We'll go all the way to 91. And then that way we're only sharpening the thick edges. So especially around our subject is what we want to do. We don't want to be sharpening too much of the road and around here because then that will take away from our subject. So now you can really see how the subject pops off the background in this image. So that's what we're trying to achieve. And now if we maybe it's hardly any grain I think but we can put in a little bit put in just a little bit and then let's try doing some brushing to our subject so go to the brushes and as you can see we've already got lots of the brushes done here so we need to brighten up her hair let's grab this one just show you guys where it's affecting so shadows bring the shadows up a bit for the next one uh, might have to zoom in a bit so you can see there's quite a bit of purple on her hands and over it in his subject there's a lot less so I wanted to get rid of those purples if we just click I'll show you just try to grab everywhere where it looked a little purple and to get rid of purple you shift green into there because it's the opposite of purple so if you're moving green into the image you're taking purple out and then just will give slightly a slightly more natural skin tone go to about there okay uh, another one I want to brighten up uh, just the face the neck a little bit of the hair so maybe this one is it yep so just brightening up most of the subject sort of just trying to brighten up already where the light is hitting and then that usually has the best effect Brighten that up and then just a little more clarity to those areas. Okay. I think that should look pretty good. Um, let's go for this one. So I just want to get the tones right in her face. And the brightness right so again I'm gonna up the exposure of her face contrast because when you generally when you bring up exposure you want to make sure you bring in up contrast and then also to keep contrast I'm going to drop the blacks clarity just make sure her skin doesn't look too rough if you bring it up clarity and then I'll just put in some saturation there as well Okay, see so yeah, how that's looking. It's looking pretty good. And yeah. Um, and as you can see, he's used Photoshop to take uh, that sign out there. So to do that, you're just going to Photoshop. I think we're looking pretty good. Um, our, our one is probably looking a little too green in the skin tone maybe. So maybe shift oranges, maybe not all the way to 
13. Bring him back a bit. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, let's take the sign out in Photoshop. So, I think we're, I think we're all finished here. We're looking pretty similar, pretty good. Could maybe add some more clarity and sharpness right in the middle of our subject, actually. Um, let's just. sharpness to it here down here I think okay right so if you want to go into Photoshop, you come up to help. It'll be cut off from the recording, but what you do is type in photo shop into help. And then below it, you just click on edit in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so that brings you right into Photoshop and then duplicate your background. So you always have the original you can go back to if you make any mistakes. You want the clone stamp tool, that's this one here. You want a bit of opacity, and that's about it. Probably want to zoom into the image, but I'll just do it real quickly. What you do is you press Alt, and you sample from this area, and you place it over here. Um, so sample from there, place it on top there. And I'm just clicking a few times because I've got my opacity quite low. But then that also allows you to get a nice blend. And then you want to keep sampling from different areas. Just so you don't get this line that we're starting to get there. And then it kind of looks a bit weird. So you can grab from different areas. And bring it across just to break the pattern of it being kind of obvious you've done something to it okay and then when you're done with that you just go up to file save and then when you go back into Lightroom it's brought it right back here with the image gone there so and then we've still got our one that we got right here that before we took into Photoshop and now after into Photoshop. But you just want to make sure you've done all your editing in Lightroom because it's now got all your uh, settings baked into the image. And I don't think it's not a raw image anymore, I don't think. And I just want to go back to the one before we went into Photoshop. And I just want to take away a bit of the clarity we put in before. I think we put in a bit too much. So I'm just going to grab, I think it was a filter on the middle here. Just bring that back down to about maybe where it was at about 15. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one, guys. You guys can go give them a follow down in the description so all those links are down there for you guys and if you're liking these tutorials you guys will like the presets so i'm giving away my entire collection at the moment so there's tons of value in there some of you guys struggle with the curves and there's a lot of curves in there that you guys can play around with find ones you like and then edit on top of those and yeah comment who you guys want to see down in the comments because what happens is i go through all the comments and then I reach out to them on Instagram and ask them to send in a photo. So really helps if you guys do that because I need more people to send in their images so I can do more tutorials for you guys. And then, 
yeah, I'm going to be trying to do a lot more uh, portraits because that seems to be what you guys want to see the most. So make sure you guys do that for me. And yeah, um, if you guys are into video, check the links down below because I've got some links to some LUTs and tutorials on color grading for video and it's just quite hard to integrate this in, integrate video editing and teaching video editing when I want to be getting these images sent in from photographers and check out those video editing links because I'm currently selling flat footage that you guys can practice color grading with and that is just that would have just been priceless to me when I started my journey in trying to learn color grading so flat footage that you can push the colors real hard and learn how to edit with the best quality image that all the professionals are using something i would have really really liked when i started so now i'm offering it to you guys and yeah that's about it guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one cheers